Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from israelautomation.com and today in this video we're going to talk about an all new chat GPT introduced by this open AI and if you've not heard about this open AI it is one of the artificial intelligence based company which does a lot of things which is of course you can't really think about just about the artificial intelligence of one specific thing but they are doing a lot of things and I'm not really going to talk about the open AI or about their different research that they are doing at the moment. But we are going to just talk about the chat GPT and very, very specific to how this chat GPT is going to help us do better coding and especially in the automation testing world. So especially this chat GPT, if you have signed up, you will see that once you go to this chat.openai.com website, you will notice there are some examples, some capabilities and some limitations available on here. And you also see that there is a chat kind of a box available for you. So you can do a lot of things over here. And two most important thing that we are going to be focusing in this particular video is about how you can understand some of the codings that you can do in a better way and also how you can get the answers for some of the most frequently asked questions in any specific automation testing tool it is not just related to a selenium or a cypress or playwright it can be of anything and i'm going to show you some of the examples over here and i got blown away with this particular feature so you might have heard about the ai or the artificial intelligence is coming to the automation testing world pretty quickly like testim or the test.ai is going to be introducing the artificial intelligence but the capability is super limited to a specific feature which is the ui based automation testing but this one is going to be a whole new level of how you can view a particular problem in a much, much sophisticated fashion. And I will tell you what I really mean. For example, I have been asked by some of the most frequently asked questions from students like, how do I do a data-driven testing in Selenium with C-sharp? How do I read a data from an Excel sheet? How do I read a data from a log file? Or how do I write a data to a log file in Selenium C-sharp or Selenium Java? And how do I perform a very, very super simple capability using Cypress? For example, opening a page and navigating and then do these, these, these things. And also I get questions from people asking like, how do I do network interception on a specific page? And also what about the programming pattern? For example, the design patterns, what is factory pattern? And how do I write a simple code in the factory pattern or a singleton pattern? If you want to do all these things, you probably can go into the Stack Overflow or any other website or blogs to understand how things work. But using this chat GPT, you're gonna see all those things being answered for you, pretty much like how you're gonna communicate with a senior engineer or a colleague for you. But I'm quickly gonna show you all these things over here. For example, if I just gonna say like, Selenium C Sharp uh, with data driven testing, something like that. So if I do this, you will see that it is automatically gonna tell me what this is particularly telling. So Selenium is uh, open source web automation framework and it does the web uh, using the programming language like Selenium, C Sharp, whatever. And data driven testing is this, this, these things. So if you want to write a simple program, so you're gonna say like write Selenium C Sharp code with data driven testing using uh, probably Excel sheet or something like that. So if I do that, you will see that all the magics are gonna happen automatically. You can see that it is already typing the code for us to retrieve the data from Excel sheet. You will see that it is coming from the Microsoft.Office.Interops.Excel and then it is writing all the beautiful MS test code uh, where it's provided the decoration with the uh, attribute like test class and there is a test method and it's creating an Excel application. It's opening a particular directory like testdata.xls and then you can see that it's almost a working code which is automatically coming for us over here. And you'll also notice that there are also some of the comments coming up over here like what this particular lines of code is actually doing. And not only that, you can also see that the coding practices that is being performed over here is super neat for every specific programming language like C Sharp or Java or JavaScript or Python or Node.js that you can take that it's gonna write the exact syntax for you. And you will notice that once the whole details of codings are being done, there is also some more details coming up over here and tell you that in this example, we use Microsoft Office Interrupts Excel library to open the Excel files containing the test data and then closes the file. We then loop through the test data 
and it also gives you the detail of what this particular code is actually doing which is amazing and now for example if you want to really write a selenium c sharp code with probably factory pattern then you can write like write selenium c sharp code with factory pattern so if i do that you'll notice that the code is automatically going to come for us in the factory design pattern so this is some of the most amazing thing which i feel like the the open ai's chat gpt has got and this is going to be a whole new level of us to understand how a particular code can be written and you don't really have to go around and search everything just in the stack overflow this particular piece is going to be really really going to be a game changing pretty soon and i think we are going to start seeing a trend where people are not going to ask all these small questions in the stack overflows they'll probably go in here and understand how things work and you can see that it has already written the uh, factory patterns code for us and it also tells you the example has a defined a web driver factory and there is a static create method which is the reason why it is called as a factory pattern because it takes a browser parameter and creates only one instance of it which is amazing so everything is already here and similarly you can keep asking some of the question for example write network interception code in playwright with uh, java probably let's try this one if it's coming up i think the ai is starting to play over here a bit because i could see that it is trying to use playwright as well as it is also using the selenium so you can see that it is using uh, it is trying to create a playwright object and then it also creates a playwright at chromium.build for web driver and i don't really think that it is being supported so probably it is kind of a glitch in the ai where it is trying to create like what it could be and then you will also notice that it is trying to use the web element for playwright which is funny well that is some of the cases where you can't rely on this because it is still in beta state and things are still maturing there but i would probably say that this is pretty great start for us to understand how the codings can be done and also i've tried with many different toolings like cypress and also with uh with other autom uh, patterns like ASP.NET code, code uh, or as, as well as the dependency injection code in C-sharp, it all works pretty fine. So I, I could see that this is the trend where people are going to fall into. People are not going to go and search into the stack overflow or Googling around things. They'll probably go to this chat kind of application pretty soon. This is going to be very, very sophisticated. Maybe in cell phones, you can do it in much easier fashion or something you can do it in a very, very reliable fashion than just going through this kind of website. I think things are going to be even more maturing pretty soon. And I would probably think that these are going to be fused into our IDEs. And once you start typing something else in the IDE, then it's going to bring up all the code for you. And it's just going to merge your existing code and understanding the existing code base and resolve those dependencies and stuff. So those things are quite close to our future, but I could see that this particular OpenAI's ChatGPT is mind blowing. And this is not just limited to one specific thing in the automation testing, artificial intelligence that we have been talking about, which is the UI based testing, but this is towards the logics that we write in the code and also for any kind of test that we do or the application code development that we do. So that that is pretty amazing. So that's it guys, this is about the chat GPT. I don't really have to bore you just telling about the same thing. You can go ahead and try out yourself by typing whatever that you like, but I think that this is amazing. So that's it guys, once again, let me know what you think about this chat GPT's open AI. If you think this is gonna be a game changer and the future product probably, let me know in the comments below. But once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.